So how did you guys get started? I mean, you know, what, were you game game freaks when you were a teenager? What what's going on? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I can start. Um, for me, I had a friend that worked in games. Uh, initially, was working as a landscape architect. Actually, really. <laughs> so I had a design degree. <laughs> And my friend was always uh, talking to me about, hey, I think you should make games. I think it would be a really good creative outlet. Because I was yeah. a little frustrated in what I was doing. Yeah. And he was always kind of in my ear about that. And uh, finally, I took him up on that. I, but it, I played Halo uh, Combat Evolved, which was a game that I found to be very inspiring. And once I played that, and I thought, you know, if I could make games like this, that would be something that would really be really special. And that's what got me into it. So, yeah. How about you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've always always been a gamer um, ever since I was a kid, but um, I used to always kind of dream of going into film, and, uh, and then something clicked at some point, you know, uh, that games can are kind of an interactive um, film in a way, and yeah. being able to have that kind of full control where one person could learn these tool sets and have control over lighting and the camera, and you could make a short film with the same engine that you could make an interactive game, and that got that was like so compelling to me that I just started learning how to make stuff on my own and you know, pushing. Push Very forward. cool. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. I was like, I just wanted to. I feel like you could do more in games than you could with like feature film, where you would work on a shot and do it for months on end and but with games you kind of get to put your hands in lots of different things so when you guys concept do you guys sometimes look at a movie that's coming out like uh, i don't know like uh, a tom cruise film and think you know that might be an interesting game or you know something like that you know you know a super action film and you think oh, that would be cool to have a game i think we'll take I, I don't know specifically films but we'll watch we'll see things and be like that might be cool for our game or whatever yeah. like we probably wouldn't design a game around you know well maybe sometimes you would just make a whole new concept i'm thinking you see something in that yeah, action film yeah, from yeah like a train thing or yeah. something oh, yeah. a guy leaping sci-fi off films like, and, like crews yeah, leaping sure. off that thing and uh, absolutely <laughs> i don't know Some how cool he did you're like man that makes me feel an awesome way i want to capture that yeah. feeling and so yeah. it's like maybe it's not replicating that exact effect, yeah not replicating but, it, but you know some, yeah finding the mechanic that evokes yeah. those those vibes yeah. and those feelings yeah I think a lot of stuff that we use, well, I personally use, there's cinematic moments that I'll see in films where it's sort of, there's a certain emotion that the viewer feels and it allows me, I can, I can show that to my team and I can say, hey, when our predator creatures are stalking somebody, I want it to feel like this. Yeah. And there's a moment actually in Prey, uh, it's a film that, uh, it's like the, it's a predator mm -hmm. uh, update. Yeah. And they're uh, a group of, uh, the characters are in this Same high way. grass mm -hmm. and they run into the grass and you know initially to escape but then they know that the the predators chasing them through that and you can see the grass parting but they can't see the actual creature yeah and there's it's a pretty terrifying moment and that to me was something that I really wanted to capture for our game and so that's something that we're working on with uh, interactive foliage mm -hmm. and that was something that I could reference and then take to say our tech art director <laughs> and say hey we want to have the foliage react like this yeah 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 and so yeah that's that's how we use uh, or i personally use films um but then we were inspired by all, all kinds of diff different stuff too it's i mean it could be like demon slayer or, you know just uh something we see you know you see on tv or just something that you read you know sci-fi um there's there's tons of things like that we're always looking for inspiration and you guys storyboard out all this stuff? We typically do a lot of concepts, right? So we have concept artists that will yeah. detail out uh, what something would look like, particularly um, on the environment side, you know, to give you an idea of, okay, well, if we have a crash ship, you know, what does that really look like? So we use that, we use concept art heavily. We have some, we, I mean, we yeah. prototype and like we just make the game, you know, in a rough state, so sort of like a moving, a more interactive uh, yeah. animatic, if you, yeah. as opposed to just, you know, completely storyboarding out a, a scene or something like that, we just make it. Yeah, with these, with these tools that yeah. we have with Unreal Engine, it's actually oftentimes faster to build an animatic out than it is to storyboard the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dan's so fast that rather than go through that storyboarding process, he can just show it to us. Mm -hmm. So he'll just show this rough form of uh of the animatic and 
You just comment on that. Mm -hmm. You feel the timing and then... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And See then if it's right. great, yeah. just yeah. resin the art. You know? How do you guys develop villains and heroes? I mean, how do you decide? How do you... Does that just pop in your head? I think, oh, this guy'd be a great villain, or this guy. Antagonist, protagonist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think a couple of things. We're a multiplayer game, right? So right. <laughs> all of our antagonists are all... Uh, they're not played by other players, right? So they're uh, creatures. Right. Um, and what we did was we started to think about what are people's primal fears, right? And so we have creatures that represent those primal fears. We have the Ravager, which basically can eat you alive. Uh, we have a porcupine that can impale you and stick you to the ground. That's not uh, we, Yeah. <laughs> that can <laughs> we ruin your day, right? Yeah, we're like racking <laughs> yeah. our brain, like, what is the worst way to die? We have a parasite that attaches itself to your face, right? So that's another, you know, primal fear, you know, something right there. It's, you know, attaching itself to you. I think um, when Alien came out, I think a lot of game developers say, you know, that's a great idea. Oh, yeah. It's got it in the face yeah. and it goes down your throat oh, and it pops out of your so stomach. Awful. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's horrifying. It's a good right? way to. <laughs> yeah, it is, like I said, it's one of those primal fears that, yeah. you know, a parasite has invaded you and you are now a host. And that's terrifying, right? So we really looked at that uh, for, for our creatures. And I think for protagonists, you know, those are our, sure. our player characters, mm -hmm. right? So. We look to develop characters that people aspire to be, right? And you know, they, something that they can look at and, and uh, recognize maybe the, a little bit of themselves in, you know, sort of like a, a hero character that they identify with and that they want to be. So, how do you decide female versus male heroes? How do you how do you develop that? Well, we really want to have a balanced mix, yeah. right? We want to make sure everybody's represented. So, a lot of it is just taking a step back and looking at all the different player characters that we have and making sure that they ac accurately represent the gaming population, which is mm -hmm. literally everybody. So that's, that's how we do it. One last question. Uh, what's new or what's going on new? What's, have you, can you talk about what you're developing? Some new game? Yeah, sure. This is, we're working on Last Expedition, which is a PvPVE yeah. first-person shooter. Uh, it's an extraction shooter. And it's four teams of four, and they oh. are all competing to get three fragments. Once they do that, they unlock the core. Mm -hmm. They take the core to their dropship and extract off the planet, and they win the match. Now, it's easier said than done because we've got a lot of monsters and stuff that are trying to prevent that from happening. Yeah. And all those other, those other teams are also have the same goal as you. So everybody is going after that single core to get it off the planet. And so, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It sounds like a blast, yeah. yeah.